excellent start from Archer. No width at all. It was helped by a bit of fielding from Roy. Good from England, four for none. Absolutely no. And again, over and over and again, starting straight, just going across, and that's ideal for Decock. And it also gives the players a picture rather than just stats and figures. They've got something to think about. Yeah, absolutely spot on, Sean. That's what they'll be looking at. And their laptops, visually, where you aim. Ball after ball, they've been spot on. And every time the field has been changed, it's been with purpose. Shot mid-wicket in, the line even tighter. Been taken out and goes through that area for four. Unlucky. Quite a few fuel changes. But the outside edge. Can't predict that every time. Of course, slightly wider, slightly shorter. Immediately the cock a slow ball as well. Change of pace. Yeah, I think England would have learned from the way South Africa bowled. Their batters would have come off saying, if you take pace off, if you bowl it into the surface, there's some slow bounce there clipped away behind square he's got good hands Besto in the deep good arm off that first slip as well just 17 meters away at short mid wicket Ten for none. Both start from both sides. It's this stage in number 11 for one. <laughs> Couldn't get two different styles in it all. Very calm, very composed at the crease. Purpose. Played it beautifully. Goes for four. A great soft hands. One. A hard punch to extra cover. And now on the back foot. Angled that soft hand straight into the ground. No danger. But for Nick carrying two of the slips. That's why Amla has been so successful. Power, timing, touch. Every area of the ground. He scores through. Abundance of runs behind square on the offside. So a ball, good variation again. In addition to the regular third man to try and stop him from rotating strike, beautifully ball straight at the stumps. I'm not good enough to adjust. I think England are going to do exactly what you suggested, Kumar, in that there were two slips, but because Amla plays that little dab down to third man, we're going to go slip in a gully. It's not a short third man, but it's a slip in a gully for the rundown. Oh, ouch. I hope he's okay there. That's hit him hard. Jarred him. Physio straight out. Concussion protocol. The umpires have to stop and inquire. The defenseman is all right to continue. They rushed him a bit. Nazasha's strength looks casual. From nowhere. I mean, can you imagine that without a helmet? Straight away, a smile but an apology from Archer. I hope you're okay. It's a new helmet, concussion test. Really, you just have to watch Archer. He is so tricky from nowhere. Let's have a look at those eight wickets. A surprise, first over. We were expecting Rabada. It wasn't. It was Tahir. Beauty to get Bairstow. Roy played well for his 50. So ended it up in the air. The catching from South Africa was... Root played well. Bimini at uh, back of point, took the catch. 
Morgan, not long after, hold out to long on. There you go, the catching in the deep was excellent. Butler, the big wicket. This is when South Africa started to bowl it into the surface with a lot of slow balls. Another good catch in the deep from Faf Du Plessis. Folks played nicely, chipped it in the air. And England got to par because of Ben Stokes and how well he played at the end. This is not what you want to see, but precautionary. I believe I'm sure Hashim will be back to take further part in the South African batting innings. In Markram, replacing him. Another opener that's in the South African side. Well, that's what I'd want right now if I was a South African fan or a member of that dressing room. I'd you. you can see that South Africa has had some purpose in their selection as well. They've really analysed what their top three, uh, you know, will offer them, what's required of them. Two new balls, great pace bowling attack, wicket takers in the England lineup. They want to blunt it. They blunt it for long enough and build those partnerships. It makes it easier for the stroke makers through that middle order. A long over, 14 for none. Wood said about Archer. The a long break like that can really disturb your rhythm. Both batsmen are focused. They're actually hitting the ball well. Up. Wide gully. Waiting for that thickish edge. Mm, this is high class bowling. Oh, they that moving around. Yeah, he just there. You know, just there, he had a little shimmy to the leg, just to offer up a bit of whiff that Wokes hadn't before, and also to create some pace, I think. It was a double whammy for The pace of the pitch, not really to his liking, but here, he's trying to create something. He goes slightly to the leg side, opening up that offside, creating a bit more width with that line that Wokes is bowling. Very well played. Yeah, good batting. Garner Trent Bridge on Monday. Obviously, know each other very well. Pakistan, Bangladesh, West Indies. Watch out the way they're batting at the Hampshire Bowl as well, which is an absolute belter of a pitch. There'll be some runs down there in that game. Through. Save your legs with the boundary here. That's four. They're really well adjusted by Quinton de Kock. He's not going across his stumps too much at all. He's actually stare, trying to stay a little bit leg side. That's really working for him. Not trying to hit it too hard. Patting a little bit outside his crease. Getting his body weight going towards the ball. Doing everything right in terms of adjustment to the lines and the lengths that Wilkes is bowling at him. Punch down the ground, stopped by Wokes. Good contest, 22 for none. 